Hey guys, this video will be relatively different than the usual stuff I post. This is a lot less scripted and a bit more direct, so I'm not really going to beat around the bush and just say everything as it is. But before that, I just want to lay some stuff out before the video starts. That being that, don't try to contact some of the accounts mentioned in this video, as authorities are already looking into it. Second, I know some videos have been uploaded mentioning this topic, but a lot of other stuff that does tie itself within this topic have not been mentioned at all about this whole situation. So people are just not talking about how extensive this whole thing is. So I thought that I might want to tie everything together and make a full video about it. I just wanted to bring these accounts and the strange rabbit hole it falls under with a bit more exposure and provide a bit of my own two cents about the situation. So other than that, let's start the video. In mid-July earlier this year, many posts were being uploaded in the internet mystery subreddit about a plethora of strange Instagram accounts that were pretending to be school children and just overall containing some really strange media within these accounts. With these accounts posting probably some of the most nonsensical and creepiest stuff I've ever seen. And what truly is shocking about all of this is that these accounts have been posting for many years with no one ever batting an eye until recently, as it is believed and there being a real implication from what is known out there that these accounts were created to fuel people's fetishes about school children. There's a lot of moving parts and accounts connected to this entire rabbit hole, so I won't be going in chronological order and stating everything. I'm just going to go over the main accounts people are talking about and talk about them individually and tie them back together to the others as there's a lot of connections to be made with all of these accounts. So with all of that said, let's focus on the main account that really gave way to the strange Instagram rabbit hole and probably the most disturbing one. With the Instagram account that really gave way to all of this, going by the name of Smart Schoolboy 9 whom is presumed to be a PDF file, but before we reach to that conclusion, this individual would run a relatively obscure Instagram account in which by first viewings, seems so scattered and random. Everything just seems like it's all over the place when you first view this account, but it's only until you dig deeper within it that something concerning starts becoming very apparent. That being that the user behind this account, whom we will refer to as Nine now, is what seems to be a grown ass man who dresses up as a school kid and is constantly promoting a lot of strange fetishes. Also whilst masquerading and trying to pretend that he's a kid, this becomes more apparent by looking at his bio and the many captions he writes about himself. For example, On a wobbling bus to go home after a really good day at school and projects until late, I'm the only child on the bus. Half part 3 on Monday afternoon, and I'm on the school bus going home. Home from school. You get the idea. This is generally how this guy writes about himself. It always having a connotation that he's a kid who goes to school and is excited doing so, who loves life and is friends with all these people who are children. And it's very strange and concerning seeing all of this for obvious reasons, because it's literally a grown ass man pretending to constantly self insert himself in the lives of children that he probably doesn't even know. But I think the weirdest thing about this account is actually more so about the videos and pictures that I would upload as most of these videos feature Nine dressing up as a school kid and acting out in strange ways whilst trying to mimic the movements of a child and just making strange noises throughout most of these videos and yet again, self-inserting himself within the life of a school kid. I mean, just take a look. these fab cows. School is good. Really good. <laughs> Hi. Hi guys. I'm here at school. Hi. Hi. Yeah, I'm sorry for that, but I had to show y'all as talking about it doesn't really show just how strange this whole thing is. It seems so off-putting in many ways, especially because it's edited in such a way that just feels so unnerving and uncanny. 
It's all just filled with so much saturation and so much effects and stickers that it's actually bordering on literally being brain rot. And whilst it seems dumb at first, the implication behind the strange format and editing that Nine would do is even more concerning after seeing what else can be found in his Instagram account. That being that Nine will post a lot of pictures of children in his account, with some of these posts even containing pictures of half-naked children, with most of these pictures of exposed children always showing these kids just using a speedo or just underwear, it's so vile and disturbing seeing this. And if it isn't that sort of post containing children, other posts show just school kids that he apparently went to school with, even writing full on captions about his relationship with some of these kids, stating their names and ages, with some of these pictures and videos that he would pose simply being ripped from TikToks of random kids and pretending that he knows them. With one of these kids that this happened to being named Miles, which I'll mention and go more into depth in the latter part of this video. But obviously this whole thing is so weird cause no one in their right mind would pretend that they know young kids and act as one to sell the idea that they are. Unless you're fucking sick. But it would seem like mostly all of this was a ploy to sort of gain the attention of children to speak to him. As not only would Nine post pictures of kids, he would also follow a lot of young children on his Instagram. Even commenting and interacting with a lot of these kids trying to relate and pretend to be so innocent and childlike. It's just so bad seeing this and just imagining how bad the implication behind this account is. It's extremely concerning as there's also many posts that Nine would upload that shows him being relatively near kids in person as well. With most of these pictures or videos that he would upload about kids being edited and distorted in such a way that makes it seem like they're using makeup or just completely alter their entire appearance. It's so uncanny and creepy because Nine would have a habit of constantly doing this. Not only would Nine post all of these weird stuff, but it would seem that a lot of the posts in his accounts also had some very sexual undertones behind them, as it would seem that Nine would have some sort of fixation about being sticky and using mini boots, which some people point out as some sort of shame or strange kink that he has. It's also important to know that this fixation of mini boots is present in most of the accounts that are tied to this rabbit hole which only adds plausibility to there being some sort of strange fetish as well. This only gets accentuated more when viewing some weird videos that came out of this account as well, as in some videos that Nine would upload, it will seem like he's pleasuring himself whilst being dressed as a school kid. It's just so messed up seeing all of this and really makes you assume the worst about who Nine really is. That being that Nine is a PDF file that is into some really freaky fetish or a man who is trying to cope in some way by dressing and acting as a child. This being the general consensus of who Nine really is. It doesn't help either that Nine has a really bizarre appearance as well that is greatly exaggerated. As you can tell that some aspects of his face are fake. Like his teeth and overly pale skin that doesn't line up with the glimpses that we have gotten of his actual skin color and face. And it is also apparent that Nine is older mostly due to his receding hairline and just very pudgy and mature body appearance. It seems like Nine's appearance and the way he presents himself has also bled a bit into the way he edits the children's faces in his post to have just as, if not more, exaggerated features than him. There's just a lot to point out about this account. Whether that's the comments, the captions, the videos, the photos, there's just so much to unwrap but most of it does thread on itself in being extremely consistent with who Nine is pretending to be, that being that of a supposed 5th grader. But it isn't until you see some of the comments and the way he talks to people who criticize him that this facade starts to crack even more. As earlier I mentioned that Nine has tried talking to the kids, but there was one time when someone whose post he commented on said something negative about Nine, in which Nine just twisted the whole situation and retaliated back to this negative comment by trying to paint the other person as a PDF file, even though there was never any mention of it in this interaction at all. This was not a one-time occurrence of Nine acting out of character, as a lot of other examples of Nine being nasty have surfaced, with some people actually DMing Nine personally and leaving comments in his page that criticize him or are calling him a PDF file. This of course happening after this whole rabbit hole gained a bit more attention on Reddit, which would prompt Nine to break character and actually start framing the people who say this stuff as them, actually being the real PDF files and generally just being really insufferable. 
simply dismissing anything that he doesn't see as positive in his way, which eventually prompted Nine to eventually deactivate his account after all the backlash, with one of his last stories being about the negative comments dating that people are simply just jealous for whatever reason. It's obvious that there's something wrong about this guy. It just seems like this whole account was made to be a whole self-insert of Nine to try to relive or act as a kid or to be used for malicious purposes. It just seems like a huge fetish or idea this guy romanticizes about a lot. Everything I mention is mostly what everyone is freaking out about and for good reason too, which is why I gained a lot of popularity within Reddit and it's also where the plethora of theories and conclusions were based out of this individual. So much so that people actually found out some locations that he has visited in some of his videos and also identified the school that he apparently goes to due to the badge of his uniform. All of this taking place in Pontefract, a city in England, with several users reporting this man to the school and to local authorities, but nothing has came out of it so far, other than a report apparently being out and a case number, so hopefully we do see an update soon. It's just such a strange rabbit hole that only gets deeper as people have only found more strange accounts that may be owned or related to Nine because most of these accounts that Nine would follow are extremely similar to the content that he would post in, in the Smart Schoolboy 9 account, which I'll now talk about some of the more notable ones. Starting out with one of these accounts, I present to you probably one of the more interesting ones out of the bunch. This Instagram account named Stephanie Schooley was being followed by the Smart Schoolboy 9 account. This account was also brought up within the popularity of this obscure rabbit hole due to the content of this page being extremely similar to that of Nine's account, albeit it's a lot more subtle and is hidden under this whole giant mess of an Instagram page. Anywho, this account mostly revolves around the presumed owner of it, that being a 13 year old girl named Stephanie, who we can presume knows or is at least close to Nine, indicated by her latest post that calls back to Nine deactivating his account and some locations she mentions in her post being in the UK. But this account, similar to Nine, seemed a lot like a little diary for the owner who's a schoolgirl and would post a lot of pictures and write a lot of captions about going to school, her interests, and just the general life of being a 13 year old girl. It seems normal, almost, but the thing about this account though, is that the posts that are within this account are just really strange and bizarre. I mean, when you first look at this account, the first thing you're greeted with is just a plethora of posts that contort the human body in weird ways. Alongside this, there's also an apparent self-portrait of Stephanie that is used in most of Stephanie's posts that just looks very creepy and just overly exaggerated. And not only that, but most of this account contains pictures of Stephanie's face being distorted and edited in really unnerving ways such as overly exaggerating facial features that ends up making these pictures seem non-human and fake, with they're always having some sort of strange music or noise playing in the background for most of these pictures, similar to Nine and how he would edit and post children's faces strangely and also contain strange audio for most of his posts. It's weird to say the least, especially when seeing that some of these pictures that are posted in this account that claim to be Stephanie aren't actual pictures of Stephanie, some of these pictures are clearly of different girls. It's very disturbing to see and even though this is really weird, I think the weirdest part about this isn't just about the strange edits and filters Stephanie uses on these pictures of different girls and presumably on herself, nor is it the strange deepfake AI videos of Stephanie, but rather that Stephanie always makes it a point to mention her age because in most of her posts, she refers to herself as a 12 or 13 year old, yet the timeline does not match at all for that to be the case anymore. For example, in 2020, Stephanie begins referring to herself as a 13 year old girl, with previous posts mentioning that she was 12. So alright, she aged, that's normal, no shit. But for the last couple of years, more specifically for the last 4 years, she still refers to herself as a 13 year old, even though by this point, she should presumably be 16 years old nearing 17 as of 2024. Yet, in her bio and some newer posts, she still mentions herself as a 13 year old girl, and still posting pictures of herself still looking extremely young and still using a school uniform for kids in some of her later posts. Now, I understand that charter schools exist, but come on. This is very strange even if this account was owned by just a random girl. 
There's just a lot of discrepancies and strange things that don't line up at all. But I think another weird thing to point out about this account is that of Stephanie's fixation with her heels and shoes. The way it's described just feels very off as there's always some sort of mention or image that shows a pair of fucking heels. I just think it's weird. Because Smart Schoolboy 9 would also do the same with his account and his batch of mini boots. It just seems like a really strange fetish to me. Not only this, but Stephanie would also post a lot of pictures of herself wearing swimsuits and being edited in really strange ways. It's so weird and just so concerning seeing this. I mean, you could simply chop it up to it being a child with an open imagination. But when there's a lot of discrepancies with age and a lot of pictures of other stuff that just aren't of Stephanie, that idea of this being a kid starts wearing off quickly. Especially after you start seeing some of the newer posts of this account, with it really driving the horrible, weird, contorted editing style to new heights. It's so uncanny because the account just looks so vastly different compared to how it did originally. And that's saying a lot, as it's very important to mention that Stephanie has been posting for damn near 5 years now, with the post just seemingly getting more and more strange as the years went by. Even though this is what makes up the bulk of this account, there actually is a bit more to talk about this account, as people have actually found out Stephanie's older Instagram account alongside her Facebook and Twitter. With this older Instagram account being somewhat in the same vein as her other account that we just talked about. This account is still very strange though because it still shows pictures of children and a lot of pictures of Stephanie that aren't her, that are all edited in horrific ways. The same goes for her Twitter, which makes it even more apparent that some pictures that are supposedly of Stephanie simply are not her, and for her Facebook, it's relatively a lot more low-key. But I think one of the more notable things to talk about actually comes from a YouTube channel that is believed to be of Stephanie's. So in this video called 1995 Breaks Then At Night, a video that basically is just archival footage of the 90s in the UK, a weird comment would be found from a user whom shared the real name of Stephanie. This comment, however though, was made 6 months ago and simply said this. With Stephanie simply discrediting many schools in the area for not allowing children to use heels, with the most important part being that Stephanie goes to an independent school that allows her to wear heels, which shows the fixation of heels even more. This account, although not as disturbing and strange as 9, will still be really strange to even come across in, especially when there's a lot to pick at regarding why she knows 9 or why she edits pictures the way she does or why she doesn't update her age. There's just a lot of questions about this that makes this whole thing so unsettling. Alright, this will be the last major account from this entire rabbit hole that I'll mention, with this account probably being the most confusing one out of all the others, and the most to pick at compared to the rest that I've mentioned. It's also suspected that this account is owned by Smart Schoolboy 9 which I'll mention why after I explain the content of this page. So let's just start delving into some of the stuff that this account has that is very concerning to say the least. So this account that I'll refer to as Eleven now is so fucking weird to put it bluntly. Mostly due because this account is apparently owned by a young boy and a mother as stated by their bio. It also contains a lot of captions and posts that are written in French and just overall posting some really concerning pictures about kids. But before we get to that point, I need to talk a bit more about the very beginning of this account, because needless to say, it has evolved a lot. So this account's first post was made in 2021, with the first post of this account exposing a child predator on Instagram who was pretending to be a child, and not only would Eleven first post be this, but most of his early posts would mention and bring awareness to a lot of these disgusting pervy accounts that are pretending to be kids within Instagram. I mean, just take a glance at some of these posts and read the captions. So, that's the account run by a man pretending to be a boy. <laughs> It's disturbing to say the least and very ironic because Eleven would end up following the Schoolboy9 account whilst it was still active, and also why people believe that 9 is behind this truth stick account. 
but other than that, yeah, most of Eleven's early posts would all be centered about exploited children and calling out these weird PDF file Instagram accounts. But like all the other accounts, as we continue diving deeper, we start seeing something change within Eleven. That being that most of his posts after these first few seven posts that I just showed, start deviating a lot in terms of how they would be edited, with most of these new posts that Eleven would do being a lot more saturated and just more cluttered. Not only this, but it would seem like after this point, which is two months from the start of this account originally, the account and the post would start changing between who would post them, i.e. either the mother or the son, the ones that were mentioned in the bio. So as a result, you start seeing a lot of posts either being in the perspective of the son or the mother. And most posts after this new rebranding of the account would now also start containing pictures of the supposed son being highly edited in subtle ways at first, such as applying makeup and overly saturating the son's eyes. These being little pictures within these new posts alongside a wall of text that mostly pertain to school and or knowledge and other trivial stuff. And although it does seem weird, it's not all that concerning. Sure it's creepy and whatnot, but it seemed like this account originally did have some good intentions. I mean, the account until this point was also still posting awareness about PDF files and being careful about these types of individuals and a bunch of other things that seemed innocent enough. And that's how the account will remain until some months leading to 2022. It wouldn't be until late April of that same year that the Truthsticks account would begin posting some really strange photos and videos of the apparent son being edited a lot more grotesquely compared to earlier posts from months prior. Just huge distorted and overly exaggerated features on the son's face, similarly to how Stephanie and Schoolboy9 would edit pictures of themselves and our children. And by this point onwards, the account just becomes a literal hellhole of extremely unnerving edits of the son's face using makeup and just looking so lifeless. Like, you guys can't tell me that these pictures do not look weird or creepy. It really seems like it was all created by AI due to just how unnatural it looks, which is something that a lot of people have mentioned about this account and others similar to it. And even though this is creepy already, it only gets worse, as by this point as well, the Truthsticks 11 would begin posting several photos of the young boy simply just wearing underwear or being in really revealing clothes and doing some really suggestive poses. Like it's clearly trying to attract something or someone. It's actually vile how this is just being posted and has been sitting on Instagram for many years. Also because if we're taking this account at face value, that will mean that the mother actively knows that this is being posted as well and simply allowing her son to just be half naked for the whole world to see. It's so disgusting and disturbing just seeing this account for a plethora of reasons, mostly due because the son who's featured is obviously a very young kid. Even if it is just AI, why is this so descriptive? It's just so strange. But unlike the other accounts that I mentioned, this account would actively post. Like, they post a lot and are actually relatively active, which is just concerning and it's still up at this very moment if you guys want to check it out. And that's mostly everything I had to say about this account. Alright, as I'm editing this video, more stuff came out about this whole situation. Mostly of other smaller accounts that all have the same vibe of editing children's faces in really weird manners have been discovered, which I'll briefly touch upon now. Schoolgirl Teresa was an account that was found amidst all of this for posting similar pictures to that of Stephanie's schoolgirl on True Sticks. These pictures being that of the owner of this account, aka Teresa, whom is 16 and which most of these pictures are edited in really disturbing ways, such as having extremely red lips and making weird faces. This is strange and it's something we've seen a lot of so far, but this account would also post some really subtle sexual things. One of these posts being that of what we can assume to be a self-portrait of Teresa at 13, whom is fully unclothed and making a really strange face in this portrait, all of which are drawn and edited similarly to how these accounts would edit children's faces, it being completely exaggerated and just looking really off. Not only this, but this account has also been posting for many years, with a lot of these posts talking about school and life and also posting a lot of pictures of heels 
Something that all these Instagram accounts in this video have in common. Not only this, but this account would also just post a lot of pictures of schoolgirls and children yet again, being edited in really strange ways, and actually showing the full faces of some of these people. And other than that, there's not as much information about this account as it has gone private. Another account that was found to be very similar to the rest of these accounts was that of an account called New Girl 10. New Girl is a relatively small Instagram account and probably the account with the least amount of information about it. This Instagram account, similarly to the rest, is about a young owner whom is 12 and whose name is Lisa. And although this account is different in the sense that it doesn't really feature any grotesque edits of children or of themselves, it still is similar in the sense that this account heavily mentions school and shows a lot of pictures of heels. It's very strange seeing this as it seems like all these accounts for some reason love mentioning and showing pictures of heels. And like I said for the Smart School Boy 9 account, this could very well be some sort of fetish for heels or something akin to that. It's very strange and it's mostly all I have to say about this account as this account is also suspected to be owned by 9. This will be the last Instagram account that I'll ever mention in this video. This account named MyOS95 is actually very notable as it's actually Smart School Boys 9's early account prior to the one that I mentioned early on. And unlike that other account, this one is still up and running, but has not been posted on for many years. The contents of this page is extremely similar to all the other accounts in this video. That being that it's a bunch of pictures of 9, edited in really fucking strange ways and constantly mentioning school. But the thing about this account is that this account would also post some pictures of a kid in a speedo in which Nine will crop his own face into it. I'm not kidding, it actually is so surreal seeing this. It just does not look good at all and really makes you feel concerned about what is even up with these accounts. Oh, and also, the fixation about mini boots is still prevalent here. But I think the strangest thing about this account actually comes from the name of it, that name being Miles. One of the kids that Nine apparently knew is named Miles and is something I did mention in the Smart School Boy Nine's account section. Miles is a kid whom Nine would rip a video out of from TikTok and act as if he knew him, with people posting pictures of what seems like Nine mimicking Miles. So I'm not sure if Nine's real name is Miles or knew Miles for many years, but it's still very interesting to mention and very disturbing. Finally, we reached the final account in this video that could be tied to 9. That being of a YouTube account that was found to be followed by a follower who followed the original Smart School Boy 9 account. That's a mouthful, so I just drew this graph because I knew the way I worded that was shit. But anywho, this YouTube account that was found was called Mind Controls Good Girls Happy Hypnosis. Yeah, um. This is a YouTube account that was in the realm of posting hypnotizing videos to my control girls and make them into your pets. It sounds ridiculous, but when you view any comment from the videos of this account, you will simply be met with people acting as if they're some sort of pet or, or slave. It's so weird and obviously a fetish thing or something that people just like to play along to for shits and giggles, but it's still very weird nevertheless. This is probably the furthest piece of evidence in knowing about who 9 really is, but I just needed to mention it as a lot of people have also noticed this. Alright, now that I mentioned and talked about the majority of these accounts, I want to talk more about the general consensus and some theories that people had about this account. 
Theory 1. It's all the same person. Alright, this is self-explanatory and it's one of the biggest things that people say about this whole thing. That being that all the accounts that I mentioned are all owned by Nine. This is sad because out of all the accounts, Nine is the only one that shows actual original clips and videos that are actually based in real life that don't look AI or heavily edited. This is probably one of the more plausible theories as it's true that the Schoolboy9 account would feature a lot of original content. Another thing to point out is the erratic editing style, which I would do first out of all the other accounts, with all the other accounts doing the same not long after. Another thing to mention is that I would like and follow most of these accounts and even interacting with some of them. This being probably the most conclusive answer which leads us to the second main theory. Theory 2. 9 is a PDF file. This is essentially what everyone believes for obvious reasons. That being that whoever runs this account or the people who run these accounts are doing this as a ploy to... Corrupt children. I mean, a lot of stuff does point out to this and which, bias aside, is the theory that I believe in the most. I mean, when you look at everything that 9 has posted in his schoolboy account, it just becomes very apparent that he's not mentally well and is pretty sick. For example, the many pictures with children, and some pictures even showing half-naked photos of kids. Like, none of that is normal. And just the way how Nine edits and contorts facial features of these kids just isn't right. Not only that, but the weird little fixations Nine has and demonstrates in his account is also very concerning. Such as the clear obsession with mini boots and dressing up as a school kid and being sticky. It's just so weird, no one ever talks about that, no one, no one thinks that. Some other theories that are in the same vein of this though is that it's also presumed that Nine is allegedly a teacher who works for the school that, you know, the uniform is based out of, or is an already known offender in the area that is now striking up other means to gain victims, and which we really don't know yet. Theory 3. This is the most malicious theory out of the bunch. That being that everyone related to this page and all the other pages are secretly trying to conduct a beetle raid. This is mostly backed up from the content of all the pages. This one could be plausible, but I'm not too sure about it. Theory 4. He's mentally ill. From what I've seen in these pages and the fixation of acting as a schoolboy and just Nine's weird appearance, a lot of people have also stuck to the idea that he's mentally ill which could still be a factor in the other theories and rumors about this guy. This is mostly said due to, of course, him dressing up as a school kid and greatly exaggerating the faces of others to be more akin to him. Whether this is due to trauma or is some sort of cope, it's still a very weird and concerning way to go about it. With all that said, I hope I've enlightened you guys with some information about this that isn't mentioned as much and also gives some insightful stuff that might be truer but hopefully we get more information about everyone in this and get the truth soon because this is just a really bizarre Instagram rabbit hole that just doesn't seem good and it's just really disgusting. Also lastly, it seems like a lot of people have tried to gatekeep this subject which I don't understand. This is easily something to be concerned about and people are feeling entitled and strange towards the whole thing. I'm basing this off what some comments from the source brew video were saying because I'm pretty sure Sourcebrew also deleted that section of his video. I know some people have tried to state that it's because the police are after them, but so many people have already posted videos and or DM these accounts. Trust me, they know. All we can do is just sit patiently and see what the report comes out about 9, as apparently his address has also been leaked as well, which I'm not going to mention as I trust the authorities to handle 9 and everyone else involved with this. All I know is that if an update arrives about this, I will make a video about it. And this video has dragged on for a long time, so other than all of that, I have no better way to conclude this video other than thank you for watching, and I'll see y'all next time.